students and we understand that the building is gone, but we know that we're not the building, we're the church. Well, it's been just over a week now since the first congregational church in New London collapsed. And one person just narrowly escaped. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eliza Krasinski joins us now with her story. Eliza. Erin, it is just incredible. I spoke with Teresa Times. She's a church administrator and her office is just feet away from where the church collapsed. It was just a regular office day. Answering emails. It was Thursday afternoon. I was... I was trying to sneak out and go home early. It was a regular day until it wasn't. The first congregational church came crumbling down. One person was inside. <laughs> That's all I heard. There was not an explosion. There was, I heard a wind. Teresa Times, church administrator and breakfast coordinator, was in her office just feet away from the collapse. That wall is attached to my office. Yes. That's really close. Yes. Alarmingly close. <laughs> yes. Her office still intact. She checked outside after hearing a bit of commotion, but couldn't see the collapse from her perspective. So she didn't think anything of it. I walked back into my office. I walked to the sanctuary, which is probably less than five feet away. And I was like, oh, okay, that's a big hole. That, that's a big hole. Only one thing going through Teresa's mind as she narrowly escaped the collapse. Now, where do we go from here in, okay, where are we doing breakfast tomorrow? That was like the second question. Where are we doing breakfast? Aside from Sunday services, Engaging Heaven Ministries also provided breakfast five days a week to those in need. We used to come here every morning, you know, and get the breakfast, you know, and they, they help out a lot here. So we rely on their church a lot, you know, and it's crazy. Teresa says they're taking it day by day. With help from the Salvation Army, they're still able to serve about 50 to 60 people a day. This Sunday, we will be at the Guard again. Um, service will start at 930 and doors will open at 9 o'clock. And she says the congregation has been just amazing. They're still doing community outreach, breakfast, everything they used to do just without the building. Live in studio, Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Eliza